It's rare to find a turned part that does not require subsequent milling operations. Whether these operations are generated in a mill turn machine or added in later ops on a mill, a spun profile needs to be generated to define the profile that will be turned before the milling begins. In this example, I'm going to walk you through how we create a spun profile in HSMWorks. Before we begin, I'm going to start by facing off my part by selecting Turning and Face. I'll simply pick a tool from the library and select OK. This has quickly generated my job and produced my facing operation. Now we're ready to machine the profile of the part. This is where we need a spun profile. To produce a spun profile, we're going to select the Utilities drop-down and select Create Spun Profile. We simply need to select a cylindrical face to define the axis of our part and select the part geometry that we want to encapsulate in our profile. You'll note options that automatically detect radiuses. This is our smoothing option, as well as the ability to automatically create a solid body of our spun profile. This will make more sense in a moment when I select OK. We can see a blue solid body of the spun geometry of what should be machined eliminating any milling operations. Now I'm currently in the context of a part, so my spun profile was added as a separate solid body. Had I been working in the context of an assembly, we would automatically create a virtual component of again this same body. So we've produced our spun profile, it's now time to leverage that in a toolpath. Let's go ahead and select the turning drop-down and select Turning Profile. We can use the same tool and move to the Geometry tab. On the Geometry tab, we see our typical blue profile of what's going to be turned. Due to the milling operations at the back of the part and the hole running through the part, that section is not a true representation of what the turned part should be. To use the Spun Profile, we'll simply select the Model Override and then from the SOLIDWORKS feature tree, select the revolved body of our spun profile. We're now going to be driving a machining operation off of the new spun profile. We can select OK, and our toolpath is updated to just machine those areas that need to be turned, leaving stock in places where we're going to mill the operations later. Let's conclude by selecting the job and running stock simulation. I'll select OK to preview my part, and then I'm going to compare the current stock model to my finished part. When I do this, we can see our software is still fully aware of the areas that need to be milled, again, either in a milling operation on a mill turn machine, or as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these could be machined in a subsequent job 